in the previous episode of Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. And we're driving a different truck today. A 2015 Volvo and a reefer. Yes, a reefer. I said I'd never drive a reefer. Seca, Georgia, and uh, my e-logs did not connect this morning when I pulled away because Apple was doing an update and I didn't know it. So I drove all this way, not really on the driving line, so I fixed it and it's okay now. But second time that's happened with Mac, if they're is an update waiting on the server and you don't click yes your Bluetooth will not connect to your ELD so this is a bad week for that to happen to me because it's the inspection blitz week with the DOT but I didn't get stopped so we're good this is the second time that has happened uh, if you remember, that happened to me when uh, we first got our ELDs. I was in Arkansas. Same exact scenario. If I would have got stopped, I would have had to say, Excuse me, officer. While uh, Apple updates its operating system, So, thank goodness that didn't happen this time. I, would, I guess it would have to do with the officer, whether he would... There's nowhere to go if you go straight, sir, you, unless he's getting fuel. Because everybody's parking at the fuel islands to sleep, it's hard to get around in the mornings until everybody wakes up and give, gets away from the fuel island. Well, we have 88 more miles to go into our uh, delivery in Union City, Georgia. We're not in a hurry though. We, we'll be there two hours before our appointment. And I've noticed with Reefer, they're more strict with appointments. Many times, in fact, most times with drive in, sure, come on in, we'll unload you. But not with Reefer. They keep their their appointments to the minute. In fact, I had an uh, appointment the other day. It was 20 after. And they literally wouldn't take me until 20 after the hour. So sit back and relax on our uh, remainder of our trip into Union City slash Atlanta.
Howdy. Hey, what's going on? You need my paperwork? Huh? Do you need my paperwork? Of course. All right. Can't do nothing without it. It's your first time here? Yeah. As a reefer, I've been here as a dry van, but not a reefer. Or is it only reefer now? One five four. Yes, sir. All right, we got a door. We just gotta find it. It must be way up here because these are in the hundreds down here. We need three hundreds. So hopefully they'll skip 200s and go right to 300s. Yeah, we're way over here on the other side and finally found it. Door 322. This will be our home for the next few hours, I would guess. Right there. Let's get her set up for a back end. All right, we're just getting her backed in here. All right, well, they finished. It, it took them a couple hours, but that's all right. That's reasonable. I can live with that. Instant is better, but Two hours is the next best thing. Well, we're uh, near Atlanta. We got to go over to uh, make a pickup not too far from here, about 10 miles away. And uh, I don't know whether to get fuel now or after. I got enough to uh, go get it and then get fuel and get out of Atlanta before the rush hour starts. But as of right now, we'll probably go make up our pickup first just to get that over with. All right, been here four hours. And uh, just one of those ones that everything went wrong. So we'll make the best of it. And uh, it is uh, 5.18. And I have to try to find a place to park in Atlanta. So, that means I'll probably have to go to the Petro and pay. However, there is a new secret here in Atlanta, a new truck stop. That I don't think a lot of people know about. I'll tell you guys about it because you won't tell anyone, right? And it's only seven miles from here. I know there's not going to be a parking spot there, but But they got cheap fuel, like 25 cents cheaper than the cheapest place you can find. So I'm going there. It's a racetrack. 
and it's brand new. It's on Thornton, right off of 20. They need to take these, uh, I always say that, these speed bumps out. So, to racetrack we go. Maybe we'll get lucky and there will be one parking place left at racetrack. <laughs> Alright, this is the famous racetrack I was talking about. Cheap fuel, 289. I, I don't get that in Florida. Uh, Cheap, cheap, cheap. 309 on the interstate this morning coming here. So, uh, the only thing, uh, it, it is a little bit negative. Sorry. Inside, they're unorganized still. So, they're still trying to get situated. Here at the racetrack, gas station, truck stop, whatever it is. We're waiting for that uh, old Dominion to leave and we're going to take that space even though it's not a real parking space. I don't have any choice. I went up to him and asked him, how long are you going to be there? He said, 20 minutes. I said, okay, I want your parking space. So he said, all right, cool, man. So he knows I'm waiting for it. Parking. Well, I think we'll be okay. What can I do, you know? I think they could have made some of these real parking places rather than just illegal ones, but I don't know. For some reason they didn't. For those of you in other countries that always send me messages as to what Heinz is, they also make ketchup. Not just the uh, Heinz sauce that I always talk about, but that's Heinz. It's June of 2018 and I asked them in there and they said this place has been here a month. So the reason this isn't more busy because nobody knows about it yet. Don't tell anyone. As soon as everyone finds out this is here, I can't imagine what this place is going to look like when they find out fuel is this cheap here and there's an alternative place to park. Thank you, Racetrack. We really appreciate it. I do anyway. And I know all the other truck drivers do that don't have any place to park. Good night everyone. Have a good night. I'm going to bed as soon as I eat my dinner. We'll be getting up bright and early and headed to Tennessee in the morning. Good night. Watching trucks and watching adventures and trucking with Indiana Jack. Stay tuned. Well, good morning. After I took off this morning, I got this alert on my truck on the dashboard that said that the truck uh, was going to do a D rate. This is the message that I got, you can see. So I had 60 minutes to get to a shop uh, near where I was. So I made it to a shop here in Calhoun, Georgia. And 
when I stopped the truck, it said, now you need to do a parked regen. So I did that and it took an hour and a half, which I, Old Red never took an hour and a half on regens, but this one does. So anyway, that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and try to go. There's no uh, codes or anything on the engine, so hopefully, uh, you know, it just needed a park, re parked regen. I've never had to do that before like this. But there's a first time for everything, especially when you're dealing with a truck that has EGR like this one does. So let's get going back on our trip up to Tennessee. Alright, after all of that this morning, we're finally here. This is actually a Budweiser distributor. We're not hauling beer though, we're hauling diet drink. Like, uh, I actually buy it in truck stops. It's, it's juice that has no calories in it. All we have to do is find out where to go. Oh, I see. I like these places because they usually unload fast. Zip, you're out of here. But since we're late, I don't know what they're going to do. They might be hostile. Perfect timing. We'll probably get his door. If they uh, if they take us. Well, let's go in and see what's up. As what happened so often, they didn't even know I was coming. <laughs> I could have been broken down. They, they would have never missed me. So... We're good to go here. They're gonna unload me right away. They're in a hurry, so that means they're gonna unload fast. Just a quick update here. By the way, I'm not, uh, nothing's wrong with Old Red. She's just off the road right now getting restored. Um, possibly, I might sell her. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but she is resting comfortably. I still own her. There are no mechanical problems, no issues. I just wanted to change and wanted something different. So that is the status of Old Red and why you're seeing the Swede there behind me. When I first woke up this morning, I uh, went around uh, the racetrack, went around the racetrack and looked at the trucks and sure enough they were all piled up, um, including around me. There was a bunch of trucks around me and then where I was going to park over in that other section. So. Uh, yes, everyone needed a place to park last night. So hopefully they'll be uh, unloaded here soon. They're going pretty fast. And then we're going to go up and over the mountains to Cooksville, Tennessee. Cookville or Cooksville? I'm not sure if it has an S in it or not, but we'll be going to Cookville, Tennessee to unload the next part of this load. All right, we're getting out of this town. Soddy Daisy or Sody Daisy? S-O-D-D-Y, Daisy, like the cow. And I know you guys will tell me how to say it.
and this is going to be a scenic trip if you're following along the map from here to Cookville uh, on Highway 111 a lot of you complain that I don't uh, show enough scenery well this is very scenic so hopefully we'll get some scenic type footage from the people that like to see scenery I like I like to see scenery live but I don't necessarily like to see it in in a video that's why I don't show more of it you never know if little kids like that are gonna ride out in front of you That guy was telling me that unloaded me. He's saying that half the time the shipper that we were at yesterday, they load the wrong stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. They put it in backwards. Like they put the nose in the front and then the front in the nose. And then he has to unload it all. and switch them around. So thank goodness everything with ours was just fine. Here, it was bad yesterday, but... All right, we'll be getting on the freeway and uh, then going up and over the mountains through uh, the countryside of Tennessee. delivery and the broker called me and said they're not going to take me today because of my regen problem so he said try to convince them to since it's only four pallets left but uh It, it really sucks for me, the driver, who will now have to spend all night here just to have four pallets unloaded. But maybe they'll do it. If they're energetic and upbeat, they will. If they're lazies, they won't. I am going to offer to take the four pallets off myself with a pallet jack and we'll see if uh, they take me up on it. Speed warning. 
I guess I should just plan and if you have like a 2015 Volvo tell me if it's the, your case that you just plan on a region a parked region taking an hour and a half All right. If they don't take me the closest truck stops, loves. They're not going to take me. They got their uh, bags in their hands. They're waiting at the door to leave. <laughs> Which is what I do. Well, I have good news for me. They took me and they unloaded me. It took them about 10 minutes. So we're completely empty here in Cookville with no S. Uh, Tennessee looking for a load somewhere else I'm really tired I didn't sleep good last night I may just take a nap and then do one tomorrow um, a long one for the weekend because tomorrow's a Friday so we'll see so hold on and we'll uh, keep you guys rolling with us uh, till who knows when glad to have you along Ha 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 ha!